Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can perform a one sample Wilcox and signed rank test using Microsoft Excel. Uh, it's going to take a little while because there is no single function for it. I'll be using the data shown in column A as an example, which is an opinion ranging from 1 till 4. Uh, this data is actually sorted, but that's not a requirement. The first thing we do need is a hypothesized median, so I'll be using 2.5 as the hypothesized median. Then we need to determine the absolute difference between each scores and this hypothesized median. And we need to uh, remove any uh, uh, that might be exactly equal. So what we can do here is in column B, I will be entering those differences. It's going to be if and then or uh, this one is empty, so if there's nothing there, it shouldn't do anything. Or if this one is actually equal to that hypothesized one. I'll be copy pasting this down, so I need to put dollar signs in. You can press F4 to actually put the dollar signs around. And if that is true, then it shouldn't be doing anything. In all other cases, it should take the absolute and difference of uh, the value minus and that hypothesized median and that needs to be fixed again so F4 and then close off the parentheses and that should give us the proper result. You can copy paste this all the way down uh, I actually don't have any missing values here so I can simply double click on the autofill handle and it copies it down for me. Then we need to rank these differences and I'll be doing that in column C again is if uh, this one is now empty it shouldn't be doing anything and otherwise it should be using rank average and then the number to be ranked is mm, this value the reference is the entire column B and I want them to be in ascending order close the parentheses and again copy paste uh, down then we also need to determine the sign and again is if uh, this one is empty then nothing otherwise sign is actually luckily a function in Excel and then we need to say that this one minus again that hypothesized median because it's not based on the absolute difference because those will always be positive the sign function in itself will show a minus one if it's negative a zero if it would have been equal and a plus one if it's positive. Copy paste this down and then at step four we need to add up all the ranks of scores that had a positive and different so in other words that the sign is actually a p uh, one. So sum if and then the range is going to be the sign range because that contains the criteria which should be one and then the sum of the ranks which are in column C and that should give us the result of 325,909 in this example. The N that we'll be using is actually the N of all of those that are uh, not the same as the hypothesized median, so we can simply use count B double dot B because there they've been removed. Then the unadjusted variance is this scary looking formula up here, but it's actually not that scary it's simply the total number times and then open parentheses that number plus one and then again times open parentheses two times that number plus one close and then divide by 24. then perhaps the most trickiest one is the number of tight ranks so i'll be using column e is and then we go if uh, this one is empty then it shouldn't be doing anything otherwise it, it should be counting count if the range is this entire column and the criteria is uh, this one now I can't copy paste this formula down because for the next one um, I don't want it to show me the frequency of this rank because I already have it up here so what I'm going to do is is if uh, this one is nothing then nothing otherwise if and then count if if count if 
from here, double dot till there again, and this value. So if that is bigger than a zero, then it shouldn't be doing anything. Otherwise, it should count the entire range on uh, this value. Now note that closing all the parentheses and for this uh, value I need to block that it uh, fixes the first one that's always in C2. Now it shows as nothing, I copy paste it down and once I hit the 2 it should actually nicely give me the result. So that was that one and then cube each of these values from the previous step and subtract it once. So up here is if this one is nothing, then nothing. Otherwise, take this value, cube the result and subtract it once. Close the parentheses and I can simply copy paste this and down. Then finally the adjustment is actually the sum of that last column sum f double dot f and then we need to divide that by 48 which gives us a result and then the adjusted variance will be the original variance minus that adjustment we're getting close then the standard error is the square root out of that adjusted variance and then finally D is that number of items that we saw earlier and then it says to multiply that by n plus 1 so times that same value j24 plus 1 and then divided by 4 and finally our test statistic adjusted is the original one open parentheses the W which uh, I had up here minus the D which I had up here and then divided by that standard error that was adjusted. Finally the significance is actually nothing else than the normal distribution approximation of the absolute value of that. So uh, there are various uh, norm dist functions in Excel um, but this one works pretty well norm as uh, dist just in case take the absolute value of that w adjusted and then finally we see that in this case the significance is uh, zero so um, with three decimals if we would go for a number it's far below the 0 0.05 that's usually the threshold so in this case we can say it's significantly different from the 2.5 and that's finally it.